Hello, it's Steve, and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I'm here with Steph. Hi. And we are going to be converting this IBC tote into a little compost bin. Um, we're gonna do some experiments with it. So our first step is going to be to take off these little support beams. There's two of them, one on each side. Um, and then I'm going to do a, probably a recip saw just to take the top off. And then we'll attach the plastic part back to the metal brackets and we'll see how that'll work. Okay, so now that we've loosened those up, what we'll do is we'll cut around them and then we'll just remove it as one big piece. So let's do that. That'll be fun. So we're going to dump all the cat poop in here, put some worms to work on it. Um, and we're going to do an experiment with this. This is not going to be anything that we ever give to customers or that we ever use on a garden. We're just looking to break down cat poop because we have a lot of barn cats and they produce a lot of poop. So we're going to fill this tub up with poop. Um, add some worms to it and see what they do with the litter and the poop. Um, see if the worms can survive it. <laughs> yeah. See if, yeah. See if they see if the worms will make it through. I'm kind of curious. Um, Cause other people have done that. I would never add this to a garden. I would never do this with your home castings. Um, or anything that you're going to use for human consumption because cats are carnivores and so they can pass diseases through supposedly this is what I've heard um, so when this is all done and we start harvesting the castings from this we want to use separate tools separate everything um, because we do not want this mixing with anything else that we use because of the pathogens that can be spread um, so I'm just going to put that warning out there. Do not try this at home, essentially. Um, and we'll get it tested. You know, we'll, we'll, once we harvest the castings from this, we'll get them tested, make sure that there aren't any pathogens in there just to see how long it takes to really produce clean castings, um, from cat poop. So this will be a fun little experiment that we're going to do this summer. And then I hope it turns out well, and I hope the, the worms do okay with it. Um, so we'll, uh, go add some poop to this and then I'll grab some worms from one of our breeding trays and we'll, we'll add them in here and then we'll cross our fingers, I guess. So in anticipation of doing this little project, we decided to use cardboard boxes from, what is this from? This is from Imperfect, Imperfect Produce, foods. right? Imperfect Produce or foods or whatever. Um, and so we use those boxes as litter boxes for the last couple weeks just to see and get the cats trained to do that. So we're just going to dump these straight in since the worms like cardboard. Um, yeah. So we'll, I think we have three of those so we can pop the other two. They'll fit. And then we'll fill it up with the rest of the litter that we have in some buckets. And we'll see how that goes. There we go. Three litter boxes. And then I had, I got five buckets worth of other poop. We'll add those in there just a second. Ooh. That's not good. That's been sitting. 
Oh, the mold has already started Perfect. breaking it down a little bit for the worms. All right, so we've got a full bin of poop. Um, I'm gonna add some water because that seems a bit dry. The nice thing about IBC totes is you can see they've got this little valve at the bottom where you can drain them out. That's kind of the idea. And so if there is any sort of moisture issues, we can always drain it all out of here. So we will um, get this moist and then we'll get some worms, add them in here. And we'll see how this goes. So we'll we'll check on in on it like we did with the the other little worm experiments that we've done. Um, we'll keep y'all posted and let you know how it goes and how the worms are doing. And hopefully we get some castings that we can safely dump in the woods. That's actually all we can really do with them. Um, or once we test them, we'll see if they have any sort of pathogens or if they're totally safe. We'll probably still dump them in the woods. But, um, we'll keep you posted. We'll see how this little experiment goes. All right, see you next time. Mm -hmm.